How you doing? Okay, here you go. All right. All right. I had a few days to kind of let everything settle in. Um, has, has, was there a moment where it kind of hit you that you, your season began back up and here you are starting the uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's really hit me. I've just sort of been staying in the moment um, in the sense of like just preparing for this game. You know, this is, uh, you know, our next game, uh, a great opponent in the Patriots. And uh, so my mindset, obviously, after the game, that experience, um, having, you know, experiencing that with Philadelphia fans, the organization, family members, teammates, I mean, that's something that's really special. And uh, so we're enjoying that for the next couple of days and just, you know, there's time to reflect and just, you know, my family is here, my wife's family. So just sitting there and just enjoying that time with them. Um, but now it's back to preparing because this is a, a great game, a great responsibility. And uh, I know we're all focused on, you know, preparing for this game. Do you have um, cautionary x-rays and did they come back negative? Yeah, ribs are great. Everything's great. You mentioned after the game, Nick, that you, you wanted to keep them out of rhythm. The RPOs seem to be accomplishing that. Uh, what's been the key on your end to the successful execution of those RPOs? Um, I, you know, we have a, a method and madness of why we do what we do. And I think f first and foremost, um, it all starts with execution on all fronts. You know, our O-line does an amazing job all throughout the game of blocking every single different look, making all the different calls. Um, we adjust when we get different looks. But um, specifically in that aspect of our game, it's just knowing who we're reading, what we're trying to accomplish. And then, you know, as a quarterback, you're, you have to make good decisions on the fly. It's both. So, and, and there's, you know, you try to, the, the key to any great offense or anything you do is you want to keep teams off balance. You want to show them looks that everything looks similar, but, you know, you can do everything out of it. And anyone who's ever played football or done anything will tell you that. I mean, think about it. If you're seeing the same thing, but you don't know what's coming, it's hard to play. So you just have to wait and see what's going on. So um, in those looks, um, it all comes down to execution up front and then me making a good decision. I mean, a lot of them are instinctual, but a lot of it's just reading and reacting. So you're just trusting. You know, we, we prepare so hard during the week with practice, with walkthroughs, with film study. Um, and then when you're going through the play, you know what you're keen. So um, it's really in the game, you really just have to trust your instinct, um, see, you know, trust what you see, and just react. And just know that, you know, you want to make the perfect decision every single time. And uh, not all the times you will, so you just have to move on. But uh, I mean, anytime you've, you've played different sports, for me, it's always been basketball. I mean, that's an instinctual sport. You're dribbling the ball, you're passing, you're doing that stuff. So I'm sure that's helped me along the lines of helping with my uh, football instincts. On Frank spoke yesterday about Carson celebrating your success. You've seen that from both sides. You've been the starter, mm -hmm. the backup. What's that mean to you, and, and what have you observed with Carson? Uh, that means any, <laughs> everything. I mean, the relationship just continues to grow. Um, obviously, there's been some great adversity this year that he's gone through, this team's gone through. Um, but Carson specifically, I think, you know, just the way he's handled it um, has been amazing. And just his support for this team, for me personally, um, whether it's in our meeting room, at walkthroughs, at practice, during the game, um, you know, it's been outstanding. I know that he's continuing to grow as a player. I mean, this is everything he's going through right now is going to make him a even more dynamic player in person. And I mean, any of us that experience adversities in life and grow from them, it just makes you better. So I'm really excited to see, you know, what he continues to do throughout his career because, um, you know, being around him every day, you know, it's it's a joy. What strikes you about their defense? What is it when you see them with them? What is it you see? You know, they're going to mix up their looks, um, whether it's their fronts, their secondary. They're going to, you know, try to mess with your your mind a little bit. Um, you know, good players, good defense. I mean, that's a great team. I mean, we all know them. They, they've had a dynasty. They've had an amazing, uh, you know, they're one of the greatest teams of all time um, throughout the course of the last 20 years. Um, you know, their defense plays well. They play really well as a team. Um, they adjust really well throughout the game. You've seen that throughout the course of years. You saw it um, throughout this last game, just their adjustments. They keep adjusting. Um, they have intelligent coaches. They have intelligent players. So it's a great task for us. You played against them? I have only played them in the preseason, I believe. Nick, yeah, three, three career playoff games now for you. Uh, seems like you've gotten progressively better in each one. 
How do you keep that going? It's just a little bit of a different feel now going to Super Bowl. Uh, you just stay in the moment. Um, you know, this is a big moment. I mean, it's the Super Bowl, something you dream about as a kid. But at the same time, you know, we're going to this game and it's a game. You know, once I step onto the gridiron, I'm playing, like playing against the Patriots. And that's where it's going to go back to trusting your preparation, working every single day and living in that moment, doing what you have to do daily. And then once the game comes, you know, you did everything in your power, you eliminated the distractions that are there, because there's going to be, you know, this is a big stage, there's a lot going on. Um, this room just keeps increasing with cameras and people in it, and it's just going to keep going. But I think when you just focus on the little things and what's important, and what's important is our, you know, our preparation, what we do as a team, and then going out there and playing together, um, Super Bowl night. Um, you know, that's really what my focus is. Hey, Brad, you went in You know, we have we have a couple guys on this team that have played in Silver Bowls and won them. So definitely, I think the big thing when you reach out to them, you just learn, like, you ask them what the environment's like. What's the week like? What do I need to expect? Where are the distractions so I can eliminate them? Like, that way you get a head start. I mean, that's the big thing. Um, this is a game, but there's a lot more going on. So um, I won't, like, go out there and reach out like crazy because at the same time, like, I'm focused on preparation. I don't want to get too many voices going because when you get too many voices going, your brain starts going every which direction. So uh, just trusting my teammates that have been there, talking to them about it, um, asking them for advice. And whenever they have advice, they give it. Um, and that just goes back to being a close-knit group. We've all been doing this together all year. And there's a lot of wisdom, whether it's coaches that have been in Super Bowls, players, or whatnot. So we'll lean on that throughout the course of this, these next two weeks. What did you learn, what did you learn from yourself the first time around in terms of dealing with pressure and outside criticism um, versus now? And how have you I think the big thing is um, you really, and I've said before, just staying in the moment. And in the moment is right now. Um, and then when I leave here, I have my next task of the day and just staying right there. Because the second you start looking at everything that's going to happen the next two weeks, it gets pretty big. And it can be overwhelming to anyone. So for me, it's just whatever my task is in the moment, I want to do it to the best of my ability. And that really just simplifies everything. And then when I go home and be with my wife and be with my daughter and be with my dog, I'm going to spend that family time because that's, that's huge for me. That's, that's a big part of it. My, they've been a part of this journey every bit as much as I have. Um, and, you know, it's, it's something that we should, we should enjoy. We should be grateful we're in. But at the same time, like staying in the moment, preparing to get ready to go play. How old were you when you look back to the 2013 and 14 polls and think, oh, God, I'm so much different uh, then? Or I mean, I think just throughout the years, throughout each day, you just continue to grow as a person and a player. So that Nick is different than this Nick. I mean, you could ask yourself, hey, when you're 20, you're the same person. You're not. You, you might have some same values. You might look a little older. You might have some things that are the same. But like your heart, everything about you starts growing, changing, good or bad. You know, it just depends on how you approach life. Um, so me then to now, like, you know, I've grown, I've changed, I'm married, I have a daughter, like I say, like my life's changed, but it's a lot of great things. There's been tough, tough things to deal with through the, you know, through the course of it, but that's where you lean on family, your loved ones, your faith, and you continue to grow to where all of a sudden you're, you're blessed to be in a moment like this where you're doing Super Bowl media uh, with an amazing group of guys and you just can't believe it. But at the same time, there's a great responsibility to go each and every day and do everything you can to prepare for this game. Time for, time for a couple more questions. Tom Brady, and, you know, what are your recollections of I don't know how old I was. I was way younger than I am now. I mean, uh, how many years has Tom played? Go back to when he first started. So, I mean, I could have been, you know, 11, 12 years old. But yeah, I mean, he's definitely a guy that I've always watched. Um, any young quarterback, any quarterback, you know, around has watched Tom Brady. I mean, he's he's done an amazing job. He's probably the greatest quarterback to play the game. Um, he approaches it the right way. He knows how to eliminate distractions. He knows how to prepare. He knows how to take care of his body, and he knows how to go out there and play at high speed and make players around him better. And I think as a young quarterback or any quarterback, you can look at that and you can respect that. I mean, I respect great players. I respect players that do it the right way, and he does it the right way. And I'm excited to go face the New England Patriots 
So. How much pressure do you have to know that maybe the greatest quarterback of all time is on the other sideline and, and you got to face that team? You know what? I, I look forward to the task. Um, they're, they, they're an amazing team, amazing organization. But also, you know, I'm playing against their defense. Our defense is going to play against Tom. We, we, our strength is a team. You know, we lean on each other. So that's where you don't, you don't have to go out there and do it by yourself. You know, we're going to go in there with great energy. We're going to go out, go there and give everything we have during this game. So whenever you know that, hey, everyone's on the same page and everyone's leaning on each other, you know, you don't have to do anything special. Just go out there and play with your teammates and give everything you have. So. I mean, I think they've done a great job all year, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's just the last few weeks. Uh, I, I think it just goes back to this coaching staff has so so many ex-players, so many ex-guys that have done it at a high level that work together really well and put their egos aside to game plan going into a game. And then they have the knowledge to watch the game and see how teams adjust. Because teams adjust during the game. It's the NFL. Um, and we're able to make adjustments on the fly as well. That, and you know, you're not banging your head against the wall all game. If teams adjust and they're stopping something, we can adjust as well. And that's sort of the, the case of the NFL game. Each series, there's adjustments going on. And I think our coaching staff is among the best, best if not the best I've been around that have done it. And the, the key to that is just putting your egos aside and you know, trusting everyone's knowledge of the game. When you remember back, Deion, we don't have time to ask Wade.